up guys today we're looking at 10 myths of making money with 3d printers often these myths put on idle many ideas and i'm sure you stumble at least on a couple of them i'm richard and this is 3d printing for money the channel that helps you make more money with your 3d printer let's get down to business <laughs> Myth number one, it's hard. So you decided you want to start selling 3D printed products. You're looking around and everything seems overwhelming with a ton of things to learn and no clear path to follow. As every venture, there will be challenges, but I must say 3D printers relieve the need to be an expert in production methods and focus your energies on selling and scaling. An example among others is the Prusa ecosystem. You can buy pre-assembled printers with perfectly calibrated slicer settings and optimized print profiles for dozens of materials. If you compare the easiness of production with other production methods as CNC or injection molding, it's almost a piece of cake. Many years ago, I worked in a CNC company and I can tell you, if you didn't have a profound understanding of the tech, you literally weren't allowed to be near those big ass machines. Myth number two, you need a big budget. A 3D printing business requires, well, 3D printers. You can see big 3D printer farms from many of us serial 3D printers. But when starting out, you don't need to go full blast and invest a ton of money. A decent printer comes around $500 like a Prusa Mini. It is reliable, prints ASA and ABS with an enclosure, overall quality is acceptable and support and community around it are sound. But if you are tight on a budget, you can get your feet wet with an Ender tree. If you're chasing detail, there are extremely affordable resin printers. There is still a role for more expensive 3D printers for high-end materials and very fast speeds, but especially when starting out, it is relieving to know that you won't need to burn a hole in your pockets. Then, when things pick up, you can add printers when needed. Myth number three, you have to say yes to every customer. As for every business venture, dealing with customers is challenging. I'm not going to sweeten the pill and just say get in business and everything will be fine. Real money and real challenges arise when facing complex projects and batch production. And if it's fun and rewarding to push our boundaries and learn new things, sometimes you will better off turning down a project. Going the extra mile can take you places, but if you aren't prepared, it will take you directly to the grave. It is better to say no to a project rather than failing and getting A, no money, and be a bad rep because the customer didn't get what promised. A while ago, I heard a saying along the line of bad publicity is still some publicity, but I will reconsider this statement. A bad review on Google or on Amazon is not fun to deal with and can make potential new customers flee. Myth number four, designing is hard. I'll make a statement here. We are all born without knowing how to drive, but we all learn hesitant at first, but eventually with practice get better. The same goes with CAD skills. There are a ton of free and paid resources to learn CAD software. And compared to 10 years ago, many applications have become extremely intuitive. In a couple of weeks, you can learn the basics and start to design your own pieces. And to no surprise, more time you dedicate to a craft, the better you become. Experience will yield better results in less time, a huge part made by implementing 3D printing requirements in the final part. Sculpting organic shapes in ZBrush, Blender, or similar software will take a little more dedication, but it's not as complex as getting a palette license. Myth number five, advertising is an easy turnkey system. Advertising your business is essential today, but pouring loads of money in every ad tool on social networks probably will result in much revenue. Imagine for a second to switch roles with your customers. Have you ever felt flooded with unsolicited advertising? If you operate with similar strategies on social media, your targeted audience will feel the same. Most users are not on social media to buy, but to distract themselves and interact with other people. Before setting up advertising, you must do some homework on how to create ad strategies and run numbers to not squander profits or lose money. If you want to know more on the argument, I have an entire chapter in the book I wrote. You can go grab your copy on Amazon, I'll leave the link down there. Myth number six, you can only make money with fidgets and articulated dragons. 
Let's debunk this huge misunderstanding. I recognize that printing and selling available stuff on Thingiverse, CultureD, and other sites was a starting point for many. But along the way, you realize quickly that if everyone is making the same products, it's a race to the bottom. The real money is made by designing products that respond to a want of the market, where 3D printing is used as a means and not as an end to bring that product to the market. Then, if demand skyrockets, you can always switch to injection molding systems for large batches. Myth number 7. It is maintenance free. I don't know why 3D printer manufacturers speak very little about maintenance. Maybe they're afraid of scaring away customers, I don't know. Like all machines, also printers need maintenance. It's not because you spent only 500 bucks on an instrument and means you won't need to fix it or adjust it. I was baffled from the amount of care cheap 3D printers needed if you wanted to print around the clock. I saw a huge improvement with Prusa printers, averaging less downtime overall, but still maintenance is a key factor if you want to avoid huge headaches. Some time ago, I developed a maintenance plan freely downloadable from my website. You can print it and develop your own schedule. From my experience, I can tell you, predictive maintenance is the way to go. Myth number eight, you don't have ideas. This is the biggest misconception of our time. Ideas don't fall from the sky nor from smoking a joint. A wise man once said, if you don't have ideas, you're saying everything in the world is perfect and I like it how it is. And we all know life around us isn't perfect. A good place to start is to observe the world and the people around you and think about improvement. As it turns out, if you start to imagine how can things be better, how can I add better value to this thing, you will be on the right path. If you find a problem, probably also other people have the same problem and developing a solution will be worth some money. Myth number 9. It isn't time intensive. This is another point that very few address. Sometimes it seems that 3D printing requires very low effort or time involved with and somehow it can be true for the production process. But for all the rest, it requires grind and same amount of effort as a regular business. If things start to go well, you will need also time to allocate to sales, final creation, making deals with suppliers and distributors. Sprinkle some time to evaluate helpers, carry out maintenance, develop a new products, and you will quickly get overwhelmed with your schedule. Myth number 10. You don't have to study. Things evolve quickly. Innovations of five years ago are today's norm. And five years ago wasn't the ice age. We're talking about 2017, it was like yesterday. Even if I believe that being a 3D printing guru isn't a key factor when running a 3D printing business, you can always hire someone that is, having a good knowledge of the industry and learning new things every day is a good practice to be on top of things. If you find something interesting that could increase your production output, test it in the spare time. Be curious and question yourself if the things you are currently doing can be done better or in a different way. So guys, we just debunked a lot of reasons of not being able to make money with 3D printers. It's just a matter of thinking straight and connecting all the dots. And when you hit a wall, just look around. Probably the solution is just a Google search away. If you found this info useful, drop a like. Feel free to drop a comment with something you thought true and then discovered it was totally the opposite. See you in the next one, fellas.